X-Men Fantastic Four, the final issue of the series. Where we last left off, the X-Men and Fantastic Four found the missing mutants on Krakoa, and then Doctor Doom's Doombot seemingly attacks Wolverine. Wolverine stabs the Doombot. Wolverine realizes he has blood in his claws, and he accidentally killed a lot varying citizen. So Doctor Doom calls his Doom Sentinels, and all the X-Men and Fantastic Four are fucked. Okay, basically, the comic starts off where all hell breaks loose. You have the Fantastic Four, you have the X-Men fighting the Doombots, fighting looks like Sentinels, Doom Sentinels. You got Kitty Pride and the Invisible Woman trying to get a Doctor Doom, but Doctor Doom has his personal shield up so they can't get through. So Kitty Pride gets through Doctor Doom's personal shield and she's about to get at doom and doom tells her that i know your power is better than you so doom looks like he uses some type of spell to make her body heavier than what it is so it sends her flying beneath the ground or whatever and so she's trapped down there so emma frost then sends a telepathic message to sue richards that they need her help so sue richards comes charging in like a beast cyclops tells her the plan that the mutants are being mind controlled in Doom's armor, so they need to use her invisible powers to take off some of the Doom armor so Nightcrawler can pull them out of there. So Sue Storm does her thing and the plan seems to work. So Franklin Rich is like, what is going on? Why is my parents or my mom out there fighting people? And Doom is saying, don't worry, stick to the process, man. We have to finish this operation or whatever, finish the procedure. And then pretty much Mr. Fantastic and Professor X is saying that Doom has ulterior motives. So you have Kitty Pryde, she gets out of the basement or whatever, attacks Doom, disables his armor, and she asks Franklin, what do you want? And Franklin says, I want to help my parents or help my mom fight the Doom Sentinels or whatever. So Kitty Pryde does something to Franklin Richards and they look at each other in some weird way, some weird romantic way with a minor and an adult, whatever. So Franklin Richards is a Omega level mutant. He comes in there, destroys all the Sentinels, saves the day. Everybody is saying he's the man, he's the greatest or whatever. He saves the day. His mom want to know, are you okay? Doom is pissed because Doom has some plans or whatever. We stopped the procedure, now he's not fixed. Now he's still going to lose his powers or whatever. The, fan, the X Men are pissed off at Doctor Doom and they're saying, yo, you're going to pay for what you did to those mutants that you, you know, kidnapped or whatever. But he's not really there. It's a hologram. Doom already left. And Doom is pissed because you made Doctor Doom leave Latverian soil. You invaded Latverian soil. I gave you instructions. You disobeyed me. And the Sentinels aren't to destroy mutants. They will destroy invaders like you. So pretty much Doctor Doom leaves, and Professor X said, "We're we're gonna leave with the mutants." And Doctor Doom's like, "Whatever. I don't care. I'll take the mutants. I don't give a shit." <laughs> so <laughs> Doctor Doctor Doom's hologram leaves or whatever. Franklin Richards is saying that he still feels like his powers is broken or whatever, so he don't know what's going on. Sue Richards is saying that, yo, I understand Professor X, you, you know, you're one of the best teachers in the world. You give your life to teaching. So they let Franklin Richards join the X-Men or whatever, you know, and if they feel that it's a little, you know, tender moment. So Franklin Richards on Krakow, and for whatever reason, his powers don't diminish as fast on Krakow than anywhere else. So he decides he has to go and have dinner with his family. Professor X and Magneto want to join him. You have the thing there cooking up a storm. The thing pretty much cracks jokes on Professor X and Magneto on the way they're dressed or whatever. Some funny shit. So anyway, um, Professor X and Magneto want to go and see, you know, they want to go and talk to um, Reed Richards. And, you know, Professor X is saying, yo, Reed, and we see, you know, you have like a machine that, um, you know, cloaks, uh, temporary takes away mutant powers, but it doesn't temporarily take them away. It can permanently take away the powers or whatever and stop them. So Reed's like, what are you doing, Doctor? And pretty much Professor X wipes Reed Richards' mind on how to recreate that machine to dampen or take away mutant powers. And Magneto just destroys it with his powers. And they say, listen, this is the new world order. How do you live with it or you're fucked? 
So they basically leave and they leave Reed Richards in his office with a destroyed uh, device that he can't recreate because he can't remember how to do it. This was a very interesting comic book series. There were no good guys, there were no bad guys. It was based on all perspective. If you felt the X-Men were good, hey, they were good. If you felt the X-Men were bad, hey, they were bad. Same thing with the Fantastic Four. Same thing with Doctor Doom. Was Doctor Doom really the villain in the story or was he the good guy? Because, you know, it seemed like he got screwed towards the end. But anyway, um, this definitely was an interesting series. Um, I wanted a better ending. It kind of ended kind of flat. But, I mean, I mean, most of the series was pretty good. You got to see some X-Men, some Fantastic Four action. So, I mean, majority of the series was good. And the ending was kind of whack. If you like my content, rate, comment, subscribe. Take it easy. Later.